big cabinetry and closet space in Safari. The master head is here. There are marble floors. There is marble countertops. This area has a beautifully done jacuzzi tub. There are jets here as well as multi-fixtured uh, shower heads all done in a black onyx style marble. Beautiful. The whole uh, tub shower surround is built on a wood framed in box. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautifully done. Just an enormous amount of storage. We're back into the master stateroom. Now we're going to walk down to the engine room area and the utility workspaces of Safari. There's a washer dryer just outside the master stateroom door in its own cabinet. We go down uh, two steps and we're into a utility room. There's a stainless steel topped workbench here. There's a vessel monitor system as you can see. All of the safety features, the electronics are repeated here and so on. The nicest part of this thing, right here. Electrical panel. There's a roll away toolbox built into this workbench. There is a vice mounted aft. Rest of the control panel here. Tom is standing in Safari's engine room. People that have seen this engine room would call this a work of art. There has literally been hundreds of thousands of dollars invested in the detail, both from the stainless steel piping and hosing to the elaborate paintwork, the carpeting, the gel coating the ventilation. It's a warm day and I'm standing in a 69 degree air conditioned engine room. The boat is positively spotless here. Filtration is very easy access. Fuel management is done through sight tubes as well as valving. The boat is set up with hydraulic uh, stabilizers, hydraulic windlass, hydraulic uh, uh, davit. These are, again, the Detroit 12V92's absolutely Bristol condition. There is a closed circuit television monitoring system in this area. There are remote start systems for both engines mounted on the overhead. They have hour meters here. There are roughly 3,000 hours on the vessel. No, there's only a thousand. Since the major overhaul. Right. Yeah. One thousand, let me correct that so that it's clear. 3,000 total, roughly roughly 1,000 since the major overhaul. And I can verify that through the spec sheet so you have it. Custom stainless steel exhaust shields. Now aft of the main engine room area there is the generator room. There are two gen sets built in. There's water purification system built into Safari, both a UV system as well as a water maker systems. Tons of room in here on the overhead for your fish rod storage. Hold on one second, Tom. Here's all the scuba gear, all mounted. Beautiful placement for everything both tanks, BCs, regulators, suits, the whole nine yards. Again on the overhead there's rod storage. Aft of me is a watertight hatch. This opens up to the lazarette area. The lazarette is set up for part storage, for food storage, for any kind of uh, uh, secure storage that you, that you would happen to need. The boat is set up with a fishing tackle back here. She's got a ladder up to the bridge. Again, there's another watertight hatch here. 
sea recovery water maker systems duplicated. There's two water makers, two generators. One water maker here, another here. Panning around. Vessels inverter systems. You can see the headroom in this engine room. How tall are you, Tom? So there's about six feet of headroom here, maybe a little bit taller than that. Again, absolutely immaculate. I'll take a little bit better shot. You can see down into the bilge area here. The boat is stunning. Today's date is November 20th. 2009 and again as far as sitting here in San Diego and you got two water tight down tight yeah the, these are a thick steel door these help to prevent sound transfer into the main vessel there is a watertight hatch leading into the engine room That's this door. And again, very thick, oversized, built to help with sound as well as safety. I'm going to walk you back up the stairs onto the main deck of Safari. The owner comes up. He's got his choices. Main salon and reclining. dinner time or a quick snack forward into the kitchen. On behalf of Emerald Pacific Yachts, this is Will McIntyre and Tom Youngblood. I want to thank you very much for touring Safari.